Welcome back to a brand new episode of Mushroom Programming. In today's episode, we will make a program that requests a string from the user and checks how many times that string is repeated inside of a particular list. Without further ado, let's just get started. So obviously, do not waste time. I already have the list created, so I'll just paste it over here. It's just a list of characters, A, E, A, E, T, R, O, X, 3, 6, A. And basically what we want to do is that we want to ask the user for a character. We want to ask the user basically to enter A, E, or any character, can even be a number. And we're going to be checking how many times that character actually exists in that list. And we're going to print that back to the user. For example, if someone enters A, will A exist 1, 2, 3 times inside of this list? It's a very simple program. We will learn a lot from it. Let's get started. So the first thing I'm going to be doing is the following. I'm going to go over here and I'm going to ask the user for some input. So I'm going to say user input is equal to input input. And sort of here, I'm going to give the user some reasoning. So I'll say enter a character to count, just like this. And after that, we also want to say character count. And I'll explain the purpose of this. So basically, every single time we find the character inside of this list, we want to increase this number from 0 to 1. So to do that, to actually check, we're going to use a for each loop. So I'm going to say for characters, for character, sorry, in characters. So for each single character inside of characters, so for each single one, we want to check something. We want to write a condition here. So I'm going to say if user input is equal to character, then character count is equal to character count plus one. So what did we do here? So again, we went through each single character inside of our characters list. So each single time, I will check if the user input, so if that letter or if that character that the user entered is the same as the current characters that we're on, then we're going to add one. So if the user enters A, we're going to check if A, or if the user's choice, which is A, is equivalent to what we're currently on, which is A, then we're going to add another one. Let's go ahead and print this after the for loop, so, that, so the for each loop, so that we get the total. So I'm going to say print. And I'll say character count. There we go. Let's go ahead and run this and see if it will work as expected. So I'm going to click on play. It's asking me enter a character to count. I want to check out how many times A exists. So I'm going to type in A and I'm going to click on enter. And it says three. Let's check if that's correct. One, two, and three. Amazing. Let's try another character. I'm going to go ahead and let's try something like R. And it only exists once. Do you think we can put a number? Yes, we sure can. So I'm going to do this again. I'm going to enter three. It's still a string, but I just want to see. And one. Let's try one more time with another character, E. And as you can see, E exists two times. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode, and I hope this was as simple as it possibly can be. I hope to see you next time.